The Word Defibrillator for today, where we trust God for a word from within the Word. This is that moment. Yesterday, it was a very powerful moment where we were talking about 2 Corinthians 12, 9, where he said unto me, My grace, my favor, and loving kindness and mercy is enough for you, sufficient against any danger, and enables you to bear the trouble manfully. For my strength and power are made perfect, fulfilled, and completed, and show themselves most effective in your weakness. Therefore, I will all the more gladly glory in my weaknesses and infirmities that the strength of the power of Christ, the Messiah, may rest. Yes, pitch a tent over and dwell upon me. And we're talking about that you can go camping. Now, to follow on from that, for from this scripture, it's a bit rough that here we are, we do want to have life go a little bit better than normal. We do give our life to Christ. And then he says, well, listen, you're going to get troubles and they're going to come your way. Sometimes we get really, really tired and we go, where on earth am I going to find all that strength? Huh. But I need to tell you from Isaiah 41, it says this. Amplified version, Isaiah 41 verse 9, you whom I the Lord have taken from the ends of the earth and have called from the corners of it and said to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and not cast you off, even though you are exiled. My word, does that word all of a sudden make it real now after what we've gone through in the last year with COVID and being exiled to our homes and everything kind of limited and some stuff being taken away as well as pe people. Fear not. Verse 10, in brackets, there is nothing to fear. That is why we are not to fear, because really there is nothing to fear. How can you say that, Sean? Well, I'm not saying it. It's the word. Fear not. There is nothing to fear, for I am with you. Do not look around in terror and be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen and harden you to difficulties. Difficulties are going to come. Not once, not twice, but over and over and over and over and over and over. But I'm going to harden you to them. That each time you go through a difficulty, I'm going to teach you something more. I'm going to give you understanding. That when something comes your way, you're going to consider it pure joy. Because you know if you're going to apply faith to that situation, you're going to overcome it. Huh. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will hold you up and retain you with my victorious right hand of righteousness and justice. Behold, all they who are enraged and inflamed against you. We have a prayer this morning where somebody is saying that people at their daughter's work is coming up against them and trying to get rid of people. Well, here you go. Behold, all that who are enraged and inflamed against you shall be put to shame and confounded. They who strive against you shall be as nothing and shall perish. You shall seek those who contended with you, but shall not find them. They who war against you shall be as nothing, as nothing at all. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. I am the Lord who says to you, fear not, I will help you. Wow. Doesn't that give you goosebumps? It is a bit of a hectic statement when somebody comes to you and says, listen, don't be scared. There's nothing to fear. And you're going, why on earth can you not see what I see? And what a wonderful reply. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not, there is nothing to fear for I am with you. Do not look around you in terror and be dismayed. For I am your God. So you can look around you, but not in terror, but in understanding that victory is yours. Because I am with you. 
Do not look around you in terror and be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen and harden you to difficulties. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will hold you up and retain you with my victorious right hand of righteousness and justice. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your right hand. Thank you, Lord, that you are our God, that you will hold our hand, that you are the Lord who says to us, Fear not, I will help you. Thank you, Father, that you will retain us with your victorious right hand of righteousness and justice. That, Father, we can face those difficulties knowing that you are with us and we will grow stronger and stronger and stronger. We will be hard. We can withstand. We can take up our positions and we can see how the Lord, our God, will deliver us. There is nothing to fear. Father, we thank you for this revelation. We thank you for this understanding. We thank you for your grace and mercy and your love. We thank you for the honor and the privilege of being able to say, Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, for your sacrifice and Holy Spirit, for, for your Holy Spirit, for your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>